morning guys it's Nelly and this is the kitchen six podcast thank you for coming back or uh, choosing to watch for the first time if you're new and uh, it's good to have you guys back um, yeah it's November 28th yeah it's totally November 28th um, and it's uh, the week the Monday after Thanksgiving here in America um, which is a big event around my house because we host um, and yeah this is episode number 15 15 and with that we'll just get cracking so we'll start with that just happens boom and you guys <laughs> can I tell you how proud of myself I am seriously like okay first I'm knitting a couple of hats I know these are things you've never seen before so I knit a couple of hats for some cancer patients so I started with this one which is great and I, um, I based it off of um, a pattern that I'd done before I think it was a free pattern but oh my god you guys the crown that goes all the way up dude I did that I made that and it's beautiful and I'm so in love with it um, I might write it up um, but that's gonna take a, a little bit I'm gonna have to re-knit it and see make sure that I can do the pattern again and <clears throat> and then I will write it up so yeah that's hat number one for a cancer patient um, and they just need to be blocked and then I can mail them out tomorrow hat number two boom is this beautiful thing and I actually made this with uh, leftover bits mostly so um, this pink here was left over from this one and then this this light pink is left is left over from a project that I made for my mom and then this like turquoise -y color is left over from um, a hat that I made for another cancer patient <clears throat> and then this purple is left over from um, a hat that I made for my sister and the the purple and the teal are um, they're Malabrigo um, and then this pink I actually I opened up the second ball of that this pink that I had to add a little bit more color at the top so that it because it was getting really dark I thought so it needed some more brightness but that is my very first color work you guys and I absolutely totally just made it up so I think it looks like little people holding hands Isn't that cute it kind of fades the purple and the, the green kind of fade into each other a little bit but how cute is that anyway so and I'll show you the inside of this one because I haven't tied in any of the ends I, I literally just finished this like before I started setting up for podcasting um, so we've got these are my floats and it's nice and stretchy so I did I did a really good job I thought I think so but yeah it's look at how good it looks I'm just so proud of myself you guys it, it came out really really nice and it looks really really cute on but I'm not gonna put it on because I'll mess up my hair and that's a whole thing I don't want to do that <laughs> so I just have to weave in the ends on this one they're already woven in on this one and then um, soak them and block them and they'll go out in the mail tomorrow to their recipient <sighs> I know that's not anything I was working on it's not anything that I was um, planning to do but I, you know, <laughs> cancer patients need hats and it's cold. And, you know, when you're going through chemo and you don't have any hair, it's cold even when it's 80 degrees outside. <laughs> so, um, it's just nice to be able to make some things because in the hospital that I um, did my um, chemo at, I had, there was a bin of hats that were just free for anybody who wanted them. Um, and it, I, I pulled like three hats out of there. Um, and it was really, really nice just to have soft, cozy. Not all of the hats, a lot of people use like Red Heart. And that's not the softest. And 
when your scalp is just freshly newly dehaired um, it's really sensitive so um, I'm really excited about being able to give these hats to somebody who doesn't have hair because they're very soft they're so soft these yarns are really really nice and um, I'm really really excited about them so yeah it's fun it's good times very excited about them I'm very excited that they're going to um, the family member of one of my favorite dyers and um, yeah uh, that dyer is knitted wit um, her mother has been doing her her mother or her mother-in-law I can't remember which has been doing um, chemo for uh, years so yeah that sucks but she'll be warm and she'll look beautiful because those hats are freaking gorgeous you guys I'm so proud of myself on those ones um yeah so that's all I finished actually that's not true I finished one more thing this is my son's stocking so I have always wanted to we've had these stockings since they were small um, I finally got us all stockings that sort of match um, <clears throat> when they were small and I've always wanted to embroider their names on them and have them be all hand done and pretty and so because I didn't make the stockings I bought the stockings it's a great stocking it's just but now it's better with his name on it so this is my son's and I finished that last night while we were um, catching up on flash because my hands were hurting this weekend so embroidery is easier than knitting when my hands hurt so but I finished that too and that's it that's all I finished I would feel bad but I cooked all week like I cooked all the food we had so much food I put on um, there was lamb and there was turkey and there was fish and there was uh, three different homemade dips that I made a bean dip and a, a sour cream based dip and then a salmon dip and then I cut up vegetables and I did twice baked sweet potatoes and it, there was so much food I made so much stuff and it was all amazing like you ever have those times when you really feel like you you just freaking nailed it that was my Thanksgiving I nailed it and it's not every year that I can say wow that was everything was perfect everything was perfect it was beautiful it was so good and everybody loved it and everybody had a wonderful time and uh, so I didn't have time to knit during those days so not a whole lot got done <laughs> except those two hats which any knitting time that I had went into those so but yeah so that's what I did what am I doing doing it and doing it and doing it well all right so well what I'm doing as I started work on my daughter's stocking so it takes you have to go over it sometimes three or four times to get it to get through this floofy fabric stuff so this is mostly just the first time um, and then I'll show you the rest of her stocking because it's kind of cute it's a snowman yay but, so I'm doing hers in green to match the scarf in the snowman. And I just started that, I actually just started that this morning and I should be able to finish that today. Um, what else have I been working on? I did a little bit, oh I left it way over there didn't I? Hold on. Okay. So, I did a little bit of the vines on the embroidery that I'm making for my husband and I. This is um, this is our wedding embroidery sort of thing. We've been married for 15 years almost. Well, okay, we've been together for 14 and almost a half years. We've no I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> we've been together for f almost 15 years and married for almost 14 and a half. Yeah, I know. It's been working for us. Don't judge. Um, so. I did some of the vines and I'm, I'm working on this cool leaf which um, 
which has been fun to figure out how to do. Um, and then, oh, the other thing that I finished, you'll have to look on Instagram if you want to see it, or maybe I can, let me, I'll see if I can put a picture, like, maybe just right here. Um, but I did a, a little embroidery with, it's, it says, uh, home is where the dog hair is. And it's just a little, like, five by seven frame, and I put it in a picture frame. It looks really cute. I really like it. But that's, I worked on that this weekend, too, um, for, like, two days, because it's a whole lot easier to embroider, um, than it is to knit, because when you knit, you have to move all of your fingers, and when you embroider, it's just this. So... This is less painful than this. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, they're better. Not awesome, but better. <laughs> so I can knit again. I started knitting this morning and it was so nice. It was it was really nice just to be able to pick up my knitting and not not have it be like five minutes of knitting and then set it down. So Oh, I need a drink. My throat's dry. I am drinking coffee. Mm. From my favorite mug and um it's mocha coffee it's like chocolate coffee and I, there's it's pumpkin pecan creamer so it's like this interesting weird blend of some of my favorite <laughs> flavors i don't know that it's my favorite altogether um but it's not awful it's pretty decent but it's it works but I'll probably go get my normal chocolate caramel creamer today to put in my chocolate coffee because yum, right? Right. Okay, so where was I? Oh, I showed you the embroidery. Let me fling that over there. I'm just flinging stuff. All right. Um, oh, my hat. My hat. I think I'm on my third knit of, re-knit of this hat. Um, but I, I like where it is now. I really like where it is now. So I'm just about about a quarter of the way done I guess and it's just it's just stocking at it's really simple um, but I'm being really particular about it because I want it to be right because I love the yarn and I love the hat and I just want it to be I just want it to be right I know when it's for me I get really freaking particular don't I I don't know why <sighs> so yeah and if I run out of yarn because I might it's possible I will add a stripe of this because it goes really 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 well with this cherry yarn isn't that pretty right so if I need just a little bit of extra yarn because I'm only gonna need maybe maybe 10 yards total extra yarn and that will be yeah it, it probably it's probably closer to five yards actually but it's just gonna be a little teeny tiny bit it'll probably be like maybe a three row stripe um, if I need it so because I think I have enough but I'm not sure and if I don't I will just rip it back and put a stripe in and then knit it back up not a big deal not worried about that at all uh, I didn't work on my heat of foot at all I didn't work on my daughter's cardigan at all except to rip out the hood because she decided she didn't like it so I ripped it out and I'm re knitting it from that point. Um, I didn't rip the whole thing out, just um, about half of it, and I'm re knitting it. So she didn't like the decreases. And honestly, I can't really blame her because once we tried it on her again, it was like, oh yeah, no, no. So fixing that, no big deal. It's going really well. Um, so I just need to finish the hood and put that other sleeve on, and it'll be done. Um, what else? That's all I've been working on. Literally, I've just been working on hats and food. Seriously, we're having Friendsgiving, which is like the Thanksgiving version for friends again this weekend on Friday. Um, so I, from Wednesday to Friday, basically all I'm gonna do is, is cook and prepare the house and food. Yeah, so another whole week of like barely knitting anything for me. <laughs> but after that, after that, I'm done cooking until Christmas. Well, not done. Like, I still have to feed my family, obviously. That's going to be a thing. But, yeah. After that, I, I will be done cooking until Christmas. And then, hopefully, there will be 
um, no major feasty things that I have to prepare because yeah I, there's a few things that I want to knit for people for Christmas so um, I need to get those done um, and I know that leaves out a lot of things that I know you guys have seen but there's stories behind that and I'll get to those um, so yeah that that covers the doing it and doing it and doing it well you gotta love LOL Cool J um, you guys this is the section where I usually show you the one or two skeins of yarn that I managed to fit into the um, the budget over the last two weeks or whatever and sometimes there's never anything there's so much yarn there's so much yarn you guys okay I'm gonna start with the yarn that I didn't buy because at least that way you guys can see the awesomeness first um, oh my gosh and it's so awesome if you haven't checked out Artistic Lily on Etsy, she is Ellie. She is amazing. She's a fabulous dyer. She does so many beautiful colors. Seriously, everything she puts on Instagram, I want to buy it. And I can't. I can't buy all of her yarn. I want to. I can't. I can't. Like, I seriously have to have my husband help me talk myself down. It's not, it's not okay. There's so many of her of her yarns that I just I, I just want that one and I want that one. Anyway, so she saw that I'm knitting cancer patient hats and she offered to send me some skeins of yarn to knit cancer patient hats because because she's amazing and she's awesome. So I of course said yes, I would love to knit hats up for cancer patients with new yarns. They would your yarns are great and they're beautiful and anybody would love to have that on their head. So um so she sent me some yarns, and you guys, do you know how hard it is to get this beautiful stuff and know that that I can knit it and just play with it and that I don't have to worry about uh, whether or not it's going to be the perfect thing for me or somebody I know? It's just, uh, so, sorry, the crinkly, I didn't take it all out of the bag yet, because I'm trying to keep it as cat hair free as possible. So the first one is this one. It's called Vixen. It's these are all on her feel good worsted merino, um, and it's all super wash. It's so soft and it's oh my gosh, you guys, the colors! Look at the colors. Isn't it gorgeous with the pinks and the oranges and the browns? So pretty, and it's so soft and squishy. And I just I just want to love on it. Okay, stop hugging the yarn, Ellie. <laughs> okay, so and she sent me so that one. That one's called Vixen. And then she sent me a manly kind of one. It's called Little Boy Blue. You guys. Look at the variation of color. Look at how gorgeous it is with some like hints of gray and some lovely blue and some navy and that teal. Oh my gosh, that teal. <sighs> Ellie, seriously, what are you doing to me? So, there's skein number two. And there's one more because she sent three because she's freaking amazing. So, and this one, I cannot tell you how excited I am that she sent this one because I have been lusting after this yarn. And this way I at least get to work with it. This is Sorcerer's Spell. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. That minty aqua with that purple. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. So I'm going to make um, some hats with these. I can probably get at least five with these. So, um, and I might have to sub in some other, like I still have some of the, the Malabrigo. I still have some of that that I can sub in if I need to, to make it a scrappy hat. Um, but yeah, they're, oh my gosh, you guys. So if you haven't checked out Artistic Lily um, on Etsy, um, the dyer Ellie is amazing and generous and fabulous and go buy her stuff. And then put it on Instagram so I can see it because I really want to see it all. <laughs> okay, I'm being crazy. So those are from Ellie. Let me just put these back in the bag before the kitty here gets all over them.
all of the crinkling. So I try very hard to keep them clean because I know that when you are going through uh, chemo, it can exacerbate things like allergies and sensitivities. So yeah, chemo sucks, chemo blows. But that's not all there is for the new yarns. Seriously, there's like this whole pile of yarn over here. And I would feel bad, except I don't. <laughs> so the first yarns that I got are this one. And this is Australian Superfine Merino. It's A-ply. It's super soft. It's like, it's got this, this, I just, it's amazing. I'm, but it's really pricey. It's like 15 bucks for this. Um, just this one little ball is 15 bucks, which is crazy. Um, you can find it at Joann's. I don't know if they'll carry it forever, but they had it when I was there, what, last week-ish? Yeah. So I got two balls of this, and it went up into the, the hat for the cancer patient that I showed you. And I think I'm going to make something for my mom with the rest of it, because it's a really pretty raspberry color. Or maybe I'll just make something for me. I might just be selfish. I can do that. Um, and then I got two balls, because this is the raspberry colorway. You don't need to see that, right? That's the raspberry colorway. And then this is, um, what they, they call, I think they called it dark gray. Yeah, dark gray. But it's one of the softest yarns I think I've ever felt. I don't know how they get it so soft, but it is, it's just like, ugh. yeah, all very, very soft. So I got four balls of that yarn in two different colors all together. Um, and then um, I got I got more of the Cascade Yards, Cascade Yarns um, 220 Sport Superwash in this bright, bright pink. Because um, I'm going to make something for my mommy out of them. Because she's very into the pink. All of the pink. So, um, that gives me two full skeins of this. And I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be something for my mom. In her favorite color. Because... And then, I got this. So this is Dorstad Creek Yarns, which is a local, local yarn to me. Um, and the color is called Purple Pop. It's a 75-25 Superwash Merino and Mulberry Silk. It's so soft, you guys. It's so very soft. So, I don't know what it's going to be yet. But I think it's going to be something for... Um, somebody special who needs something special in their life right now. So, that's all I'm saying. So there. Um, what else? Oh. So, while I was getting the Jorstad Creek yarn, I found this. And this is an acrylic and wool blend. It's 60-40 uh, wool and acrylic. And it's really really soft and I love the color it's like a dove gray it's so pretty um, and I got this because I ripped out the cornflower cowl that I was making for my sister's fiance I just didn't like the, the way that it looked I didn't like the way it was knitting up I didn't like the way the yarn was behaving with the pattern it just didn't look right so I ripped it out and I think I'm gonna try it again with this because this looks like it will give me the stitch definition that I want because there's cables in that pattern and the the one that I was using was so floofy and fuzzy that it just didn't it didn't look like anything um, it just looked messy so um, this has a much less hairy feel to it and look to it so I'm, I'm thinking it will be um, a much better option for something with that needs to stitch I can word I can I can totally word something that needs stitch definition um, and then oh, let's get all these yarns 
I'm gonna put all my yarns in. I've got this huge bucket over here that I'm keeping these yarns in for you guys. Like it's like this big bucket. Yeah. So, and then on a totally separate trip, I know, like it's been crazy. It's been seriously crazy. On a totally separate trip, I went to uh, Michael's and I bought more yarn because you know that's what you do when you go to a craft store. <laughs> guys, I don't usually buy this much yarn. I, I, I kind of just went on a spree and you probably won't see me with yarn for a while. Yeah. But that's okay. It's pretty yarn. And this is actually for, I've been looking for something like this for um, a while. This is a cotton and acrylic blend. Um, so it's like uber washable. And I think it will make a really nice set of mitts and a um, scarf or cowl for a friend of mine um, because it'll be washable and she's not really fussy so um, and I know that she'll I know that she'll wear them if they're softer so and this is really nice and soft I really like it I might have to go get more it's nice a lot like really nice I think I might want some for me but yeah, so, but it's a fingering weight, and it's, it's really, really, yeah, so, those are going to be a gift, soonish, you know, I have things I want to do first, obviously, I, my Hidofude is the, the, after the cancer hats, my Hidofude is next on the, it's getting done, period, I, I don't, I don't care about anything else until my Hidofude is done, but yeah, and then, I know, you thought that was it? That's totally not it. There's more. <sighs> My son was with me when I was at the store. And he is, well, our whole family are Seahawks fans. And these are essentially Seahawks colors. So this is a self-striping, um, bulky yarn. And it's, it's in Seahawks colors. So, because Seahawks. Um, so I brought this ball home. And I was, was trying to figure out what he wanted out of it. So I was like, what do you, what do you want me to make out of this yarn? And he goes, I want a sweater. Okay. I, I can't make a sweater out of one ball of yarn. Like, it would have been nice if you had told me while we were still at the store that you wanted a sweater out of it. Um, so I had to go back and get two more balls of yarn. So that, well, the two should be enough for a sweater, but I wasn't really sure. So, um, I got three. And honestly, if he gets a hat out of that too, that's fine. And maybe some nice bulky mittens or something. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, all of the yarn, you guys. I know. I don't usually buy that much stuff. Uh, it's been, it actually felt really weird buying so much yarn because I, I've been on, very like strict you only buy yarn for if you have a purpose for it and it feels like I have a purpose for all of this stuff but it feels like I just went on a spree so um yeah I don't know if the sweater is going to be for Christmas or not um probably not I'm not I'm not gonna try to stress knit a sweater for my son for Christmas uh, uh but I am I am gonna try to get it done for um January when he goes back to school and that's in a bulky weight, so it should go pretty fast. And it's just a kid's sweater. I mean, he's not, he's, he's 11, he's like a size 10. He's, I have small, skinny kids, so it, honestly, <laughs> it's not anything I'm doing. I think it's just genetics, um, even though the doctors keep telling me, great job, like, like I had anything to do with it, which I don't. So, um, that is all of the shiny, pretty things. All of the shiny pretty things there's so many shiny pretty things um but that leaves us with what's cooking and what's cooking is uh friendsgiving which is on friday of this week uh the second and i keep messing that up and saying the first but i'm wrong so um yeah the um the theme is seafood this for friendsgiving because I think everybody's a little over turkey, 
because turkey can be a little much if you just eat it for two weeks straight. Um, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my turkey, but and we barbecue our turkey, which is delicious, by the way. Um, but so we're going to go with some fish and some probably shrimps. And I was thinking about barbecuing oysters, but there's going to be 16 people here. Um, but yeah, so seafood for Friendsgiving. And um, I'm going to finish the cancer hats. I have several to cast on. I'm going to get three done um, within the next two weeks um, out of the skeins that Ellie sent me. Um, and then I will work on accommodations for at least two more, um, probably three. So that will go over really well. And then um, once all of the cancer hats are done, because it's getting cold and people need them now, um, once those are done, then I'm going to work on my Hino Fude because I want that done by the end of the year. I want it off the needles. I want it, I would rather have it done by Christmas because so I am probably, once the hats are done, I'm going to knit on the Hirofude exclusively. And if I don't get any other Christmas presents made, oh well. Darn. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's selfish, but I knit for everybody all the time. Like, I have a pair of socks and a hat that I've knit my, for, for myself. Every other project that I've done has been for other people. So I'm not super stressed about knitting for myself. I don't feel bad. I'm not, I don't feel selfish. I, I think feeling selfish about knitting for myself is ridiculous. So, but, so that's what's cooking. Um, what else? I think that's it. Oh, my husband, my husband, my husband came back from Hawaii, um, with, uh, a, a pinched nerve and, and a muscle spasm. So he spent all of last week not able to help me at all so all of the Thanksgiving prep was done by me or my daughter it was a lot of work <laughs> I was exhausted my feet hurt so bad I woke up Friday and I felt hungover I didn't have a drop to drink I felt like I just slammed a bunch of tequila it was not good um, so I rested Friday and I rested most of Saturday um, except that I went to well we went to the Michaels on Friday and then I went back again on Saturday because I needed the balls of yarn for my son's sweater and I wanted to make sure I got them before they were gone um, and then Sunday we watched the awful 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 Seahawks game yeah it's good times so yeah I think that's it you guys I don't know if that's a fast podcast or not I actually had to stop somewhere in the middle and upload the video and then erase it off my phone and it's a whole thing you guys I really need a much better setup in fact today I don't even have a tripod I have um a pan on a box because I'm classy like that <laughs> but I remembered my microphone and I didn't have to go get it again I yeah it's been good so um I think that's it you guys I really think that's it. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I hope that you had a fabulous and amazing Thanksgiving if you celebrated, and I hope that you're having a lovely, wonderful time knitting if you don't. And um, I hope that all of your projects are working out for you as well as my hats have been. And I hope that you are really, really getting ahead on your Christmas knitting if that's a thing for you. So, um, yeah. Next time you'll get to see my tree, I'll set up in front of the tree and uh, you can see what our Christmas, it looks like a cupcake, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So happy Thanksgiving, belated, and uh, happy knitting, you guys. Love you guys. Bye.